On February 19, 1999, the New York Giants signed Kerry Collins to a free agent contract. I needed to come in and just show guys who I was, be myself, and you know, with this new opportunity, I felt like I, I could do that. I, I kind of knew that starting right away wasn't going to be part of the equation, so I just needed to bide my time and be patient. And you know, eventually got my opportunity midway through the, my, my, my first year, and things started to come together. Collins now throwing it deep downfield for Tuber. He's got him on the run at the 30. Tuber to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Giants! Collins and a play fake to throw. Plenty of time looking for the post over the middle, and it's a touchdown to Ike Hilliard. Collins completed 57% of his passes in 1999, and his strong arm produced big plays that ignited Giants fans. And that's the thing about that team. The defense was already really good. He got Strahan coming into his own, Seahorn on the outside, a guy like Sam Garns. I mean, there's just all kind of, all those pieces that, that were there. They just needed something offensively. You know, I kill you with, you know, Amani, Tiki. We were all kind of young guys that we were hungry. I mean, we needed, we wanted to show what we could do. And, when it all came together, it turned out to be something pretty good. Now put some drives together, we're gonna score touchdowns, baby. Let's go, win all three. One, two, three. Win. Collins pumps, looks, throws it left, pass caught, touchdown on the scene. Ron Dixon. Collins steps up, looking, throwing to the end zone. Touchdown, Ike, Ike Hilliard. Plenty of time, lobs it deep down the right side, and the pass is caught, and a touchdown. And a money tumor, what a brilliant catch. In 2000, Collins was set to lead one of the league's most potent offenses, and Big Blue had its sights set on a long-awaited return to the Super Bowl. We started off pretty well, and I think at one point we were seven and two, and we, but we had lost two games in a row. Teams can either go two ways at that point. It either fall apart or keep going in the right direction. Through Jim's credit, we were able to keep going in the right direction. This is a poker game. I'm shoving my chips to the middle of the table. I'm raising the ante, anybody wants in, get in. Anybody wants out, can get out, okay? This team is going to the playoffs. He's just been saying, we believe in you, I believe in this team, I believe that this team can go places. Rising to their coach's challenge, the Giants won five of their last seven games, capturing the NFC Eastern Division title. Each game, we just kind of found ways to, to win, and all of a sudden we look up and we're 12-4. and four. In the NFC Divisional Playoff against the Philadelphia Eagles, the Giants raced out to an early lead and never looked back. We had the Eagles number. They were beating everybody else, but we really had their number. Dixon will take it from his own four. Up to the 10, 15, breaks right 20, 25, 30. There goes Dixon to the outside, it's a foot race. Ron Dixon in midfield. Ron Dixon's gonna score. 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown. No flags. Anytime you can get a start like that, for an offense, for a team, you know you just delivered a big blow right off the bat. And uh, a lot of times that sets the, the tone for the game. On a rare day when the Giants offense did not find the end zone, the Big Blue defense put some much needed points on the scoreboard. McNabb again over center. Drop straight back, Giants on a blitz. McNabb hit as he throws, swings it right, and the pass nearly, it is intercepted by Seahorn. He's got it on the run, down the left sideline, cuts it at the 10, five, touchdown! What a play by Seahorn! I saw the throw, and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, it's in the grass, it's in the dirt, I mean, it's gonna bounce, and, you know, all of a sudden I see Jason get up and, and run into the end zone, and finally, you know, got to see the replay, and, and what an unbelievable athletic play. You know, those are the kind of plays that, that help you win those kind of games. Hey, I've never seen a play like that, man. Hey, Jay, I've never seen anything like that. That's Celebration is on. See you next week, folks. For the first time in 10 years, New York would play for the NFC Championship. And Giants players and fans were ready for battle. Well, you could, you could sense it when you got to the stadium that day, the electricity. Seeing the crowd waving the flags, the crowd just absolutely going nuts. They ain't seen nothing like us. Get after they ass. In front of an electric crowd, Collins shocked the Vikings with two quick touchdown strikes. Over the middle, and he's got a man. It's Hilliard to the five touchdown. 46 yards down the left side. I want to be like Ike. He's got six. We started off 
taking the ball right down and scoring, getting the ball back, scoring again. Throwing down the right side, he's got Camilla, touchdown! Greg Camilla and a halfback waggle, and the Giants in two minutes and 13 seconds lead it 13 nothing. After we scored that second touchdown, I hit Camella in the end zone. It was as an electric field as I've ever had on a football field. It was just one of those games. Everything went right. Collins under pressure, avoids the sack, rolls to his left, throws corner in the end zone, touchdown, Jervis! Oh, what a play by Collins! I'm talking, I draw stuff up in the huddle. Hey, do this, you know, if play, you know, and I never really did a whole lot of that, but it was just kind of one of those games where just that sense of not being able to be stopped. And Collins steps up, looks, throws to the end zone, touchdown! Killian! I kill you, gets his second of the game! Collins short drop, Collins looks, lobs it back corner of the end zone for Tumor, he's got a touchdown! He just outworked the defensive back, Robert Tate! It was like the perfect day. There's moments as I look back on my career, and you know that day is at the top, without question. The final score, the Giants 41, the Vikings nothing. Super Bowl, here we come. Great job, thank you. Unbelievable. Thanks, thanks for everything. Hey, put it on your shoulder and you put it right on through there. I mean it. This is the Giant team that was referred to as the worst team ever to win the home field advantage in the National Football League. And today, on this field of painter's mud, we proved that we're the worst team ever to win the National Football Conference Championship. You know, the pride that I felt seeing him up there, that trophy, talking to the fans, to know that he could stand up there and give that kind of speech, and I had something to do with it, was, was really a matter of personal pride for me. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.